Do you remember how that talk by the rambling scientist ended? No? Well, me neither. When communicating your science, get to the point quickly. Do this whether you're presenting in an elevator, shooting a YouTube video, chatting with your colleagues, or preparing a lecture. Why? People's attention drifts easily. You've done this yourself. Someone's sharing some news of what they did on the weekend, and within seconds, you're thinking about what you need to buy at the store later. If you're in an elevator or at a fast-moving networking event, doors can open or shut in a few seconds, and your audience is suddenly chatting with someone else. Online, most users will click away in under 10 seconds if you don't grab them off the top. So get to your point quickly for the best chance of connecting with your audience. See, the best talks are dialogues between you, the speaker, and your audience. You need to make and keep a connection, just like in a one-on-one -on -one conversation. So keep your messages short, and then you can check in with the audience's interest. This keeps the audience engaged to listen more, to ask questions, to chat with you or other chemists again. To develop this skill, practice saying what you do in one to two minutes or even less. Then say it to someone you know and trust who isn't a chemist. Listen to their feedback, then edit your talk and try it again. This will give you three easy steps to develop any talk. First, decide what you need to say. Second, what you don't need to say. And third, practice over and over and over. The more you practice, the better you'll get. The better communicator you are, the more opportunity you'll have to share the excitement of chemistry. I can see you now, one day in an elevator with a powerful decision maker. You delight them with why chemistry is important to you. Next thing you know, every day you're working on an exciting project that helps make the world a better place. All thanks to good communication.